complete your 12th month of long distance on us every year. Just for being a Unitel customer, call us right now at 1-800-970-2255 and ask how to get one free month's long distance every distance every year. Unitel, it's your call, so call. That's 1-800-970-2255. What in the world are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah. What's well, hard to say? Okay. Okay. Now, how do I turn it off? <laughs> Just down. Press the red. This was made by a man up at Banff. He did it for Tracy, and, and she brought it to me. We've left all of Punchy's things that he liked or used right here on the Chinese chests. And it's the strangest thing, because, you know, even the little kids come and they, they touch under here because they know that's where Uncle Punchy is. I, this is a wonderful cartoon that I picked up because it shows this dog sitting up on a hill watching the airplanes go over, you see. And that's what Daisy and Bill do. They sit up on the hill and they watch the airplanes. Only this dog's trying to figure out why these, where do they get these little teeny tiny people to fit in the airplane? And also, how does that plane fly? And he figures that that plane flies when nobody's looking at flaps of rings real fast. And then it's able to fly. I thought that was pretty good. I don't even know why I'm taking these pictures. Except Whitey said try the camera out, so I'm trying it out. Our house looks beautiful in film. <laughs> in real life it looks like, well, I'm a bag lady at heart. And I, I just have everything. All kinds of little stuff here, there, and everywhere. And That's a picture of Rodney over there in the background. Did you notice? And in all my diaries, I have wonderful pictures of children and little things that I put in there. There's that great, that great music machine that Heidi brought to me in the hospital and I use every morning. Some of the stuff up here, that's Whitehorns. He's got things that he's put around the house that belong to him, too. I remember when Heidi gave me this beautiful, beautiful piece of glass. I was so thrilled. I look around me and I see so many wonderful things Heidi's given me. Sometimes I wonder to myself, well, if she ever moves to Long Beach, she may want this stuff to make her house look pretty. <laughs> you know, I think of all these crazy things. All my wonderful hats, scarves, a table just 
filled with vases and candy jars and oh and I'll have to show you this right here this will go to Doobie because she is the one that got the most use out of it but that was my mother's silverware and Frank found it and sent it to me and I never really remembered it but Doobie ate out of it all the while she was there look at that throw and the pillows from Heidi again I finally put this rug in the kitchen because it made it seem cozier. And I just bought some silver polish. I'm going to do all the silver up. I'm trying to get things fixed. I have a collection of cookbooks. You know, I've got cookbooks in the kitchen, cookbooks in the pantry. I send people cookbooks too, but I don't know if you guys like them, but I just love cookbooks, and I, it just lately I've started figuring out things like, I never liked to cook before, but you know, when you don't know if you're going to live or die, then you develop an interest in food to stay, you know, to keep your strength up, because you decide that you're going to fool everybody and stay alive, and that's what I've been doing, is playing around with different kinds of recipes on days that Dad doesn't cook. This is our refrigerator, by the way, all the things that I paste on it. I like this right here. Knowledge is good, but not as good as fresh strawberries. <laughs> Remember that picture right there? Heidi and Duncan and I, we went to an art gallery and picked that up. Oh, here's more cookbooks. And, and of course, you know I collect. I collect um, heads. I got heads and stuff like that wonderful things. Dad collects dishes, I think. I used to collect dishes and I quit because he began to collect so many that I just, I thought it can't be two of us doing it. So I stopped. This is our collection of pots and pans. Down here we have many, 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 many pots and pans. And I just finished cleaning the pantry the other day. Believe me, cleaning this pantry is, is strange. Now, I'll show you Dad's wonderful collection here in a minute, too. That's my mattol. That's what's kept me alive. You guys laugh, but mattol's wonderful. These are Dad's coffee cans. Now, I'm not sure what he's going to do with them. He may be planning to build a house in the desert out of coffee cans or something. But he has quite, quite a collection of them. This is the sink Dad put in for me. I remember the sink I wanted was $169, and Dad found this sink at Value Village, and you can laugh all your life, but it's a double stainless steel sink, and he built the cupboard. He did the whole thing for about 12 bucks. He's an amazing man. When he sets his mind to it, he can just do anything. This is Dan's. He's waiting someday till he moves out. When he moves out on his own, he wants this girl in his in his um, apartment. Doll houses up there. Just so you know that all these things are in here. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Hi, darling. Hi, sweet girl. If 
Here's my hat. I have worn that hat four times, and everyone goes crazy when I wear it. This is a hat over here that I made when these grungy hats first came in style, because I would walk the dog in my grunge hats. I had all kinds of goofy things. This is a bag I'm saving for Tracy's birthday. Red, white, and blue, 4th of July. I'm trying to fill it with oddball goodies. Another dollhouse I'm working on. That's my Ukrainian church. All these wonderful things. I love this workroom. Everything in here has meaning. There's another church.